clamp is similar to LinStep and SmoothStep, except that it lets you constrain a result to your own predefined values, rather than returning a value between 0 and 1. If clamp encounters a value that falls in between your min and max, it simply returns that value. In this simple example, I have 10 particles sliding up and down in the y-axis through the use of a noise function. The first five particles aren't clamped at all. The last five particles are clamped with a minimum value of negative 2 and a maximum value of positive 2. Note when the right side particles fall in between the negative 2 to plus 2 range, they move as the left side particles do. All other times, they won't exceed the limits I've enforced. I find clamp to be especially handy near the end of a simulation's development stage. A good example is this. Everything seems to be working fine, but you see a few particles whose opacity values go way above 1, causing them to render too bright. If you're crunched for time and don't want to start playing around with your expressions, you can clamp your opacity attribute to a maximum value, saving you from having to change too much in your simulation.